Okay, so now we're going to do the AFE intake install. Uh, this is the complete kit. Uh, it's stage one, so I'm still going to be uh, utilizing my uh, intake tube right here. That goes along with it. Um, these uh, instructions right here are not complete, is what I've read uh, online. Uh, so I guess we'll just have to wing it and see what happens. I'll uh, just give you a rundown of the parts here. Got your uh, hose clamps here, run of the mill hardware, and whatnot. I uh, got a vacuum line. Uh, so I've got, of course, the lid with the fancy AFE symbol in the middle. Uh, okay, you got your intake little boot here. Uh, there's a little elbow. Uh, I believe the vacuum line goes into that little nipple there. And of course, you got the main part, the air filter. It's pretty big. So. And then we got the actual box, the air box. So, the rundown of that. Uh, also, it's important to point out that uh, these parts right here will not be used on the TDIs. Like, apparently, these are just for the gassers. So, um, this little breather here, and the elbow, and these two uh, hose clamps uh, will not be used. So, they'll be put into the spare parts bin. Okay, real simple. Here at first, uh, we're going to attach the intake tube, of course. And um, also drop in the main air box. Um, now, the only thing that's holding that on is you got two uh, 10 millimeter bolts. One's right there. And the other one's right there. So, no big deal there. So, the way I understand it is the next step. Uh, the map sensor section needs to be here in the middle. So we're going to mount that right here and the intake tube is going to mount up in here. So Also, whenever I was looking on these forums, they kept on uh, talking about this thing called a snow screen when it came to uh, the topic of discussion and installing an intake and it was in right in here um, and that that was a pain to get out um, a lot of people just take them out uh, you know some people leave them in but uh, I chose to take mine out uh, as far as the screen I didn't see any bugs or any debris trapped in it so it didn't look like it was serving much of a purpose other than blocking there but uh Here's the pieces right here. Um, yeah, I'd mess it up a little bit here, but this is what it looks like. A little screen, and uh, like I said, nothing was trapped in it, so not not a big deal for me to delete this. And it's like a little honeycomb or whatever piece. But yeah, just want to tell you guys about that. So I attached the uh, map sensor section um, with two uh, 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, one right here, and the other one here on the back side. Uh, this one here on the back side is kind of pain to get started and everything, but eventually it all comes together nice. All right, right there. So, real simple though. Okay, the next order of business probably the more uh, confusing one because uh, I read an online forum of a guy uh, he installed his and as you can see this vacuum line that uh, went into your stock air box uh, is supposed to go through uh, that hole right there and connect to uh, this middle piece here it's supposed to go right on here on that little nipple there well, yeah, like I said, it's not long enough. So, what you gotta do is you gotta trace that line all the way all the way where it goes to that T, okay, and and then simply trace back even further to where. Let's see if I can get a good shot. Basically, follow follow the. The shortest section all the way to this 
uh, pump looking mechanism right here. I'm not sure what that's called, but uh, there's a little nipple right there that it connects to. So the poor guy, uh, when he went to go pull off this short section right here, that nipple broke off. So what we're going to do, we're going to play it safe, and I suggest you guys do the same. Uh, we're going to cut it off with a uh, X-Acto knife and, uh, and go from there. We got a, uh, a section of the vacuum hose that they supplied with the kit. And uh, you'll see how it all comes together. It's pretty simple. Just got to be careful not to break that, break that off. And uh, we shouldn't have any problems. Okay, that went really well. Um, there's my exacto knife I used, really, really sharp. Um, what I did is I came in here and um, what I wound up doing is I wound up cutting off maybe about uh, less than an inch of uh, the vacuum line. From I, I didn't know how long that nipple was uh, on this thing, so I wound up uh, just cutting just a little bit about right here where my finger is. Good shot. About right there. Okay. And then wound up cutting across, like, boom, like that. So uh, I cut it off real nice and clean. And then I uh, took off the short piece that was originally connected to this. And then I'll just go ahead and trace the line here. So it's coming from the, the pump thing right here. Gets in the holder. Okay, and there's our T. Okay, so then, uh, see it goes to that other pump, the other end does. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, uh, the one that they, the vacuum uh, line that they supplied with the kit, we're going to go ahead and put it on this end of the T and then run it through this hole so we can connect it on to this piece. So, okay, the rest of the install is pretty easy. Uh, you take the uh, rubber boot part that you get with your kit and you put it right up against uh, the air box there. Um, and then of course you got your two supplied uh, hose clamps. I used a 8mm uh, uh, socket to uh, tighten those up. And of course there in the middle you got your uh, the middle part that goes to the uh, vacuum line that they supplied in your kit. And of course you got the main part here at the filter. And again another hose clamp. Um, so I guess there's only one thing left to do. Put the final touch on it is the lid. And that has supplied, um, let's see, eighth inch uh, Allen heads, Allen head bolts to it. So it goes like that. And bolt her on, and I'll show you the finished product. All right, well there it is, uh, complete uh, intake AFE install. Um, I'm real happy with it. It was actually one of the easiest intakes that I've installed. Um, now, the hole that's for the uh, the smog pump uh, filter thing, uh, I'm gonna have to find some way to plug that off. Uh, I'm certainly not going to leave it like that. Um, the only place I want to draw an air in is from this uh, little scoop right there. You can see it. Yeah, right there. Where it draws in there from the uh, fender. So other than that, it was uh, you know pretty good uh, install. It was real easy. Um, again, uh, these are the parts that you will not use because... Apparently these are for the gasser models. Um, this is the filter that would have been going in this hole. So for us TDI guys, we don't need to worry about this. So keep it around the shop. Maybe it'll become of use someday. Well, hope this uh, video helped you out any. Um, I tried to give you as much useful information as possible. 
Uh, if you have any questions or uh, comments, of course, you know the section to do that in. Uh, go ahead and give me a like and uh, subscribe to me. Um, so I really appreciate you guys watching. And uh, until next time.